According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a simple definition of date is the time at which an event occurs. It goes on to say that it is an oblong edible fruit of a palm, but ignore that part for now. What happens when finding a date that fits everyone's busy schedule turns into a fiasco? What do you do when agreeing on a location for that event on a date creates something close to World War III? As you know by now, our family has a difficult time making decisions and coming to a consensus. It should be no surprise then that agreeing on a date, time, and location to celebrate something as joyful as Christmas creates anything but good tidings of comfort and joy. So, I know this is our special Sister Sunday coffee time. I love our sister time. And I do too. And I know we made the agreement that we're not going to talk about stressful things. But we have got to figure out our Christmas get together. Our Christmas is in just a few days. It's on Friday. And we need to finalize our Christmas plans. What what should we do? Are we what kind of foods? Where are we gonna have it at? Are we what are we gonna do with in-laws? I kind of figured because we did in-laws last year that we're just gonna be together as our family this year. Carolyn, I just don't understand. Why do I have to do it? every year. I mean, you've obviously thought through the whole thing. You've got all the bases covered. Well, Amy, you are the oldest. Plus, you're really the only one that's organized in our family, and you're the only one with enough follow-through to make sure that it actually gets done. Just once. I mean, just one year. I would like to see what would happen if Amy did nothing, and just see what would happen. Yeah, but we might have this year be the experimental year because these last couple weeks have been so stressful That's and there's true. already enough chaos going on. It just, it needs to get done. It needs to be settled so that we know what we're doing in a couple days, what we're bringing, what we're going to eat. So maybe it's settled. You're going to take care of it. Amy, I, I just saw your post about Christmas. I think Bradley and I should host it this year so that I can put my feet up and rest. The doctor told me to avoid stress as much as possible. I think being in my own home will help to keep my stress low. Besides, I really want everyone to see the nursery. It's so beautiful. Carolyn, I'm very disappointed that you didn't come to girls' night out. I was hoping that everyone would be supportive considering my pregnancy, but I guess not. Amy only stayed a short time, but at least she came. I know you all want to know about me, but I just still can't show my face on video. I'm so bloated. Namaste, Amy. Doug and I want to host the family Christmas party this year since in years past we haven't. Uh, Carolyn's never let us take our dogs over to her house for the healing therapy and I know she wouldn't let us take the dogs over for Christmas party. So Bradley would let me take the dogs to his house but Elizabeth needs the, her rest so that leaves Doug and I to hosts for all family and animals. Okay. All the women have chimed in. Now it's time for you boys to have your say. <clears throat> I haven't shared my opinion yet. I think that we should have it at Elizabeth's house because I know her layout and I know all the details for the venue. Plus, I've already contacted the caterers. If everyone could please read and respond to the questions on the email I sent this morning, I can finish the details. Oh, and it's very important that you actually read the email this time and pay attention to all the details. Far less confusing that way. Oh, and plus Caroline won't have to worry about the cleanup this time. Amy, I thought you were going to talk to Bradley about this. We have got to get Kathy out of our family business. Now our Christmas party has caterers and a venue? You've got to be kidding me. Amy, get this under control, or we're just not going to come to the Christmas party. Carolyn, 
then why me? Again, why me? Why don't you call them? You call Bradley, or you call Elizabeth, or you call Kathy, or call 911. <laughs> Bye. I'm not sharing my opinion because nobody listens to me anyway. Amy, I spoke up just like you told me I should. Okay, Amy. Then here's the new plan. Once you win the lottery, you can buy both me and you our very own Kathy's. That way, the Kathy's can plan all of the family events while you and I are relaxing at the spa. I think this is a fabulous idea. What do you think? So I think we should do Christmas here this year. It's a lot easier to keep everyone entertained out here and keep the kids out of everyone's hair. Elizabeth, she can put her feet up on the sofa and she can learn how to be calm and relax through the chaos that only kids bring. And you know, besides, Doug, Brad and I, we don't care where we watch football. We can watch it anywhere. So come on over. Yeah, I don't know if we can go to Carolyn's house after the trauma that our dogs experienced there last time. I'm still pretty upset about that. I think, um, I think Doug and I have been talking about visiting my parents for this Christmas, so we'll let you know. We've, we're, we're still thinking about it. We'll make the decision soon. So, Doug and Solstice have enough money to buy a plane ticket, to fly across the country, to visit her family, but they don't have enough money to buy the replacement of the window that their dogs broke. I just don't understand how this works, you know? I wish, I wish I had that same money tree and I could just go over and pluck from it whenever I wanted to. You know, their money tree is named Bradley. You know, one of these days we're going to have to figure out why it is that Bradley keeps financing Doug's life. Someday, too, I kind of wonder why Solstice doesn't get a job. Why she can't go back to work instead of them always plucking money off of the Bradley tree. I don't know. Not my dog. Not my fleas. I will now need everyone's driver's licenses for plane tickets today. Time is short, so email them right away. Caroline, do all of your children have a passport or photo ID? Okay, now I'm totally confused. Where does Kathy think we're going? Why is she buying us plane tickets? And where does she think she's going to get that many plane tickets for all of us to go on such short notice? Amy, please check your emails more frequently. You and the entire family are going to visit Solstice's family for Christmas. And since there are so many of you at such late notice, the only option was to charter a private jet. Also, Bradley and Elizabeth will not be joining you as Elizabeth should not be flying at this point in her pregnancy. So be on the lookout for an email and details for when you guys will be having Christmas dinner with them. This means you too, Amy. Before you all get excited, I've explained to Kathy that we don't need a private jet to go anywhere. As far as Christmas dinner goes, it might be better for everybody to just come here, bring the food and the kids, but let Kathy do all the work. Sorry for the mix-up about the private jet, everyone. I, I think I have things squared away with Kathy now about what she is to do for our Christmas plans. I can't wait for everyone to see the nursery. Amy, do we have to make Christmas about Elizabeth's new baby even before it's born? And do we really want to cater our Christmas dinner? Part of the joy of Christmas is eating all of our favorite traditional meals, especially the cookies. The kids love decorating their own cookies. I'm not at all excited about going to a Christmas at a venue. I like the old-fashioned traditional Christmas better. No, Carolyn, but remember how we were with our first babies and that all joy and excitement and, you know, all the anticipation and remember, let's not rob Elizabeth of that just because, you know, we've had a lot of babies. Plus, Bradley could use some joy in his life, if not for Elizabeth. Let's at least bring out the joy for Bradley so that this can be a fun time for Bradley, okay? You are right, uh, Amy, but... What about the food? Do you think the caterers would take requests, maybe even recipes? 
Well, I have an idea about the food though, okay? So let's just let um, Kathy do whatever she wants about the food and then we will just take our traditional side dishes and if we have a whole bunch of food left over that's, you know, a lot of leftovers, that means we don't have to cook, right? And if Kathy has a problem with all of that, then we'll just sit peace and harmony on her and then she'll forget that she had a problem with the food. Does that sound like a plan? Any food is good, but if you all expect me to help clean up after the barbecue or after a party, the least you can do is let me know. Again, no one tells me anything in this family. I feel like I'm not even a part of this family. For the record, Elizabeth and Kathy think I'm doing a great job getting this room ready and decorating. Finally, someone thinks I'm doing something good. Someone thinks me, Doug, I'm doing something good. Did we ever decide on a date and time for the Christmas party? It looks like it's going to be at Bradley and Elizabeth's house. But when? The date and time are included in the email I sent earlier. It's all been arranged with the caterers and the contractors, so it's too late to change. Given that it's so close to Christmas time, it was a miracle that I was able to arrange this. In the future, I will make sure that our plans are set in stone farther in advance with enough time to coordinate the details. Yes, Kathy is quite the miracle worker, all right. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone again. So what is the date and time? Because I never got the email. Okay, everybody, bottom line, we are meeting at Bradley and Elizabeth's house on Saturday at 11 o'clock. Bring all your Christmas presents with you that you want to open that day together as a family, and leave your passports at home because we're not flying anywhere that day. Okay. See y'all Saturday. Namaste everyone. So Doug and I have decided to stay here this Christmas. We, we feel like after the trials and tribulations over these past couple weeks that it'll be good for all of us family to be together. So we can't wait to see you. I'm so happy to hear that everyone will be here on Saturday. Since this is our baby's first Christmas, it means so much to all three of us to have the entire family all together. So Amy, considering Elizabeth's last video, is she expecting us to get Christmas presents for the unborn baby? Um, I thought that this baby showers were for that. Well, what do you even get an unborn baby for Christmas? And Amy, if you're planning on getting Christmas gifts for unborn children, you might as well just make it too. Carolyn, are you saying what I think you're saying? Oh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, congratulations. I can't believe you didn't tell me. You tell me everything. How are you feeling? Amy, don't you say a word to anyone. Absolutely no one knows except for Tony, of course. But don't you dare tell, um... Anybody, I don't want to steal Elizabeth's thunder right now. Not for Christmas. I want it to be about her and her baby. I'll tell the family later. I just, I don't know when. I'm anxious to hear when El Elizabeth's due date is. We might even be in labor at the same time. Wouldn't that be too funny? Oh, Carolyn, I'm so excited for you, though. And how, I mean, this is, like, really great. So, but I can't believe I didn't notice. I don't know if you, either you're feeling really great or all that excitement with Mike in the hospital and everything. I just wasn't paying attention or something, but I can't believe I didn't know. This is so exciting. And I, did, I think it's really sweet of you to not want to steal a limelight from Elizabeth, and it is her first, but still, your baby is just as precious as Elizabeth's first. But it's sweet of you to think of her like that. So when are you planning to tell the rest of the family? I don't even know when we're going to tell anybody. Just be sure not to say anything to Bradley because he will definitely tell Elizabeth. And that would be a disaster. And then she's going to tell Kathy and then who knows what's going to happen. And then they're going to be flying us to pri on a private jet to a venue for private Lamaze classes. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what Solstice will say too because, you know, she's been bugging Doug about having a baby. and. This, uh, two of her sisters-in-law pregnant, she might really get the bug. Poor Doug. What's he gonna do? Talk to you soon.
Have we made a decision yet about the Christmas party? It's tomorrow already and no one has said a word. Maybe they've posted about it. But I haven't had time to watch all these chat videos. I'm having such a great time decorating at Elizabeth and Bradley's house. I wasn't sure that I'd be good at this construction and decorating stuff, but maybe it's meant for me. Maybe this is what was meant for me to do. You know, this actually makes me happy. I can't believe me, Doug, can be happy, but this is actually getting me there. Okay, everything is set for Saturday. No one needs to bring a thing. Kathy has everything organized and all we need to do is relax and enjoy each other. See you Saturday. Bradley, is everything okay with Elizabeth and the baby? She sounds chipper and everything, but you know, I mean, she was in bed in her pajamas on a work day and that's not like Elizabeth. So if you think it might be too much to have Christmas at your house, just say so and that's fine. We can do it someplace else. I just, you know, don't know what's really going on with her for sure and what's best to do. Let me know, Bradley. Amy, Elizabeth is fine. She gets into bed every night when she gets home from work. She's taking the doctor's order really seriously. Kathy really has everything under control and is, and is really taking charge of this party. Bradley, I thought you were going to talk to Elizabeth about Kathy and how she butts into everything. She is really annoying the rest of us. Can you talk to her? What happened? Amy, by the rest of us, I assume you mean you and Caroline. Two people do not exactly constitute everyone. In fact, we intend to hire Kathy as our nanny after the baby's born, so you'd better get used to it, and you two are going to see her every day. Yippee! Kathy's now a part of this family forever! Oh, I never really thought about it before, but I guess we shouldn't really be surprised to hear that Elizabeth is going back to work immediately after the baby is born. I just thought that everything she went through to have a baby, that she would have wanted to stay home and experience every moment with that baby during its first year of life. But, I guess Kathy will have that privilege instead. Carolyn, you never know. I mean, Elizabeth might decide to stay home with her kids. I mean, maybe she could work out something with the station to do remote shoots or something like that. I mean, I have two kids and I work outside the home, but I mean, I did stay home with them when they were little, I guess, but it's a very personal decision, you know? I mean, everybody, what works for some doesn't work for others. And, you know, but making a decision to have children is not necessarily the same thing as making the decision to be a mother. Anyway, I'm sure Elizabeth will work it out, whatever works best for her and hopefully for Bradley too. So, but here's something else, you know, that I kind of am not sure I understand. If she's expecting us to get baby gifts for my baby's first Christmas, when the baby's still in her womb, then what happens next year? I mean, are we supposed to get my second Christmas when it's the first Christmas outside the womb? Okay, I need a little help with this first first year baby gifts. What are we supposed to do? Whew, Amy, you are so silly. Elizabeth's baby will have Hey, boys, keep it down. Hey, you're going to break his other arm. Watch out. Sheesh. Amy, you are so silly. The babies will have her first everything, every time she ever does it for, a, for her. I wonder if Bradley got a vote about the nanny thing. He works out of the house, and so often, I think it'd be a little awkward and strange to be home alone with another woman and your own baby while your wife is off at work. I don't know, I guess I'm biased though. I guess it's just it's not my baby and it doesn't have to be my way. By the way, you haven't told anybody about my secret, have you? No, Carolyn, I haven't told anybody your secret. You can rest assured about that. So what are you guys bringing tomorrow? I mean, I'm still bringing food. Emily's home right now preparing our three 
favorite side dishes. They're all sides. We're not taking any meat. And I'll probably throw together a batch of fudge because everybody loves the fudge. And um, it's always a big hit. Plus, I love it too. So that's what we're taking. What time are you guys going? Because I don't want to be there all that long unless you're there too. So call me. Namaste, everyone. Carolyn has a secret? I can't wait to hear it tomorrow. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Elizabeth and Bradley have a new baby coming. Carolyn has a happy secret to share. Doug and I have a secret. This is going to be a Christmas of blessings and expansion. Let me remind everyone that the caters have all the food under control. No one needs to bring anything tomorrow. I have thoroughly researched Christmas traditions and have given the chef specific instructions on what to prepare. As for sharing secrets and exciting news, that is best left for another time. I think Christmas and Elizabeth's pregnancy is enough excitement for one day. You people have 364 other days to steal her spotlight. Let her have one day. Oh, and again, the reminder about the privacy settings. Maybe doing our communication this way on the video thing wasn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> Yikes! But at least I don't have to worry about anybody else in the family finding out that I have my own secrets to reveal. Amy, maybe we should put the privacy settings on the spotlight so we don't keep making the same mistake. When I think about how we have to deal with the next 18 years of Kathy in our lives, all I can do is laugh. What is she going to do next? And just what surprise do you have to tell Amy? I thought we told each other everything. Now you have a surprise too and I don't even know what it is. I'm not surprised at all that I don't know what Solstice's big announcement is, but with you, I thought we shared everything with each other. I know all of your secrets. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow.